Can God give us vision in the valley? I believe he can. In fact, God can take the driest, most barren, lifeless part of our lives, the broken and hurting, the toughest childhood experiences, and he can give us vision of what our miraculous God can do. He can breathe life into dry bones in a valley, and he can renew your heart, soul, and mind. He can give you new vision. And so this morning, I don't want to share a devotion with you. I simply want to invite you to let the scripture wash over you. I want to encourage you to close your eyes, slow your breath and hear the word of the Lord speaking into your valley today. The Lord took hold of me and I was carried away by the spirit of the Lord to a valley filled with bones. He led me all around among the bones that covered the valley floor. They were scattered everywhere across the ground and were completely dried out. Then he asked me, son of man, can these bones become living people again? O sovereign Lord, I replied, you alone know the answer to that. And then he said to me, speak a prophetic message to these bones and say, dry bones, listen to the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Look, I am going to put breath into you and make you live again. I will put flesh and muscles on you and cover you with skin. I will put breath into you and you will come to life. And then you will know that I am the Lord. So I spoke this message just as he told me. Suddenly, as I spoke, there was a rattling noise all across the valley. The bones of each body came together and attached themselves as complete skeletons. And then as I watched, muscles and flesh formed over the bones. Then skin formed to cover their bodies, but they still had no breath in them. And then he said to me, speak a prophetic message to the wind, son of man. Speak a prophetic message and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Come, O breath, from the four winds, breathe into these dead bodies so they may live again. So I spoke the message as he commanded me and breath came into their bodies. They all came to life and stood up on their feet, a great army. My prayer for you is that you would find the space to prophesy to the dry places in your valley and that the breath of the Spirit of God would bring life and vision to you today. May you know God's protection, peace and nearness and may you see new life breathe into the weary places today.